Oh yeah. Yeah, dude, what do you think? I've gotta be happy with that. that beautiful little striped bass. Look at this fish Stager just got. Look at this chrome beauty. This one's going home with us too. That's a good beauty. That's, good. That's gonna go great with our super thick New York steak. I'm Chris Blanchard. I'm Asher Ren. And you're watching the bike. Hey Chris, what are we gonna do today? Catch a bunch of shad. Good morning. Welcome to another adventure of the bite. I'm out here fishing with Chris Blanchard and our friend Ryan today. We're heading down to the Umpqua River. We're on the lower stretch. We're um, a few miles above tidewater in some of the whitewater. We're gonna get into a pocket of some shad. The shad run is a real plentiful run in Oregon. Early May, they start to fill the rivers up. Uh, super sustainable fish. So we're hoping to harvest 30 or 40 of them today. There's just so many of them. They're so abundant. Um, so it's a fish to take advantage of when you get the opportunity to. So we're gonna get in there and try to get into some fish. Gets you every time. Oh, First shot of the morning. These things fight like monsters. They have super super papery mouths so the hooks just pop right out of them but there you go i call that the poor man's tarpon kind of looks like a little tarpon right i'm gonna go ahead and get this one out of its misery into the cooler let's get into 30 or 40 more of them hey so the guys next to us are just killing it that's what it looks like just a big boy Bait. These guys up here are really the pros. We're the amateurs. They're just they're putting in work up there. Awesome. Dude, they pop off quick. Here's the one that I caught. Here's the one that Chris caught. They're basically cookie cutter, right? Here's the one Ryan just caught. <laughs> <laughs> hey you guys, you know what I just spotted in the water? Right here under a rock is a cool little crawdad. So I'm gonna grab him, pull him out, and show him off to you guys real quick if I can. Look at this little bass. Look, he's he's like this brownish gray color and he's got red red points to his claws. Is, his, is that tickle? His, is that tickle a little bit? His little tentacle right there? Yeah! <laughs> you got it. He got it. It came off the hook and he got it.
Look at that toad of a fish right there. Beautiful little Umpqua River Shad. Probably maybe three, four, five pounds, something like that. That's fun. It's going in the bucket. I'm going to get into another one. Whoa, whoa. This is a, this is a decent fish. Fine line between horsing them in and leaving them out there too long. The longer they're out there, the more of a chance you're going to rip that hole. And the stronger you just force them in, the bigger chance you're going to also rip nice up fish. that hole. Oh, just like that. Just like that. <laughs> well, maybe we should bring the long handle net next time. <laughs> Oh, right behind you too. And Asher's on also. put a few more fish away and uh, continue you guys to show that we're throwing these little pink squiggly tails real small little crappie jigs and they just love them so I'm gonna change my line out real quick their plates are kind of sharp and I'm getting all scuffed up so I'm gonna switch it up easy trusted line cutters Now one thing that's pretty frustrating about shad fishing is that they have paper mouths, so you lose a lot of fish. You know, as, as many as 50% of your hookups, um, you're not going to catch. But, you might hook into 100 fish in a day, so it's fun, right? Thank you. 
hard for uh, the size. I thought it was a little bit bigger, but uh, another nice one for right there. do is touch the screen on the back. There you go. Can you see? Another nice oh, 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 oh. nice little shad. Hey. Thanks to my net man. So the last couple of fish I've caught have been on, I think it's teeny tiny right there. The uh, When the sun comes out, you just use a smaller jig. Right, let's get one. It's a good one. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Nice work. Look at that one. That is a nice slab right there. Look at that thing, guys. Look at that guy. We keeping it or releasing it? Yeah, who's picking him up? Yeah, we can kill them. You're gonna keep him for bait again? No, we gotta kill them. They're invasive. Uh, not those ones. Those weren't aren't invasive. Those ones aren't invasive. No, that's not a uh, pike minnow. That's just a. Uh, uh, what's the uh, what's the actual term for them? I mean, we call we call them rubber lip sucker fish, but uh, it's like a mountain. Hey, what's the uh, actual name of this Look thing? At it. Look Mount at it. Mountain sucker fish. Oh, I didn't know. Yeah. This is a big one. Yeah. Put him in there. He's got a crazy mark on his back. Oh. Yeah. Nice. Nice. All right, guys, we are having so much fun today. The kids are catching fish. Everybody's catching fish. There's another shed. Oh, God, get back here. Another nice Umpqua River shed right there. Thanks my net guy over here. You gotta say hi. My net guy right here. I think our time here is coming to a close soon. We're gonna catch a couple more and then we're gonna head to the coast to catch some wing cod. Stay tuned. Asher just had a really nice one on and lost it. It's kind of the name of the game. We probably have hooked 40 fish today and we've only landed maybe 15 of them. It's, uh, I wouldn't even say 50%. I mean, it's, it's a game where you're losing most of your catches. Um, 
We've landed some really nice fish though. Like check out this bucket real quick. Look at the size of this. Uh, there's a couple in here. Like Asher got this monster. Look at the size of that thing. Huge. fun so much fun we uh we got a nice bucket of fish right there a nice bucket of crab bait and stuff and man those things fight like champions mm -hmm. some hard fighting fish i haven't actually caught shad in like a couple years definitely the poor man's tarpon but anyway we've had a blast so far today but this day just begun we're gonna go out to the jetty right now and see what we can't pick up 